Uh, I hope you I hope that you get better TMG. I have a bunch of chicken noodle soup. Yeah, oh my god, chicken noodle soup sounds so good right now. Chicken noodle soup, ramen, udon, some some sort of like nice hot soup with like noodles. Oh, 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 oh it just sounds so good. I could really use that. Um, but anyway, so as I was saying, so this game is written by Uchikoshi. Uh, our lovely friend over from Spike Chunsoft, who has written the uh, VLR, he wrote 999, VLR, ZTD, the Zero Escape series, basically. Uh, this is a new game by him. So it's his patented storytelling, which means crazy qu twists and turns, kooky characters, uh, and very, very interesting plots. So that is kind of the, the premise, uh, well, the backstory and sort of like what the game is and then what the game is about it's about like a crime uh noir essentially so we play a detective we have an ai that lives in our eye hence ai the somnium files ramen for me right oh ramen sounds good too uh gg came i found this great ramen place it's it's a bit of a drive from here but it's uh it's really good how do you like the game so far is is it enjoy <laughs> enjoy eyeball yes Yes, it is. No, the game is fantastic. Like I was saying to Pyro uh, earlier, I I really wanted to uh, keep playing. I, I I really wanted to keep playing this. I was going to stream Fire Emblem today, and I'm like, no, I want to I want to play more AI, and so that's that's why we're here. Uh, Neil Bullseye with the resub. Oh my God, thank you so much. It's a two year two year hype. Holy shit, 24 months. This game's out now. Yeah, game's been out for like I think almost a week now at this point. Well, thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate it. The fact that you resub for me when I'm at my worst means you deserve me at my best. Thank you, Neo. <laughs> uh, so one thing I actually noticed because I loaded up a little while ago, this game has really cool loading intro. It kind of gives you like a recap of the things you've done recently. Like, check this out. Watch this. It's really cool. You get like these little fragments of memories and things that you've just been doing. Like we rescued Mizuki, she is, she's just dead to the world. We went into her brain, we fixed it, and now this is where we left off. So between Iris, Boss, and Aiba, who would you put as top waifu? Now, uh, Zork asks, asks the real questions here. I would have to say, uh, out of those three, I don't know. I think it might have to be a tie between Iris and Iba right now. Iris mostly because even though she's got some like uh, <laughs> personality problems, uh, she doesn't seem like a bad girl. And also there's like some weird mystery now between the two of us that I really want to get to the bottom of. There's no better way to attract the musical gamer than to provide me with a mystery I have no hopes of solving on my own. <laughs> and then Iba's just, just the banter between them is just amazing. Speaking of Fire Emblem, if you had a country, what would you name it as? If I had a country, like a whole country? Hmm. The Federated States of Gamingdom is probably what I would name my country. Rogue with the resub! Hey, Rogue! Oh my god, 27 months! Been here for a bit. Let's continue this path and follow our leader into bad games. Yes, we shall. Thank you so much, Rogue. I really appreciate it. Real men don't choose best waifu. Real men gets all the girls. Looks like percent of 5 minutes. See, never mind. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it's, uh, it's also very true. All right, so without further ado, let us get started. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. I'm your host, the Musical Gamer. This is some more AI. The Somnium Files. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the congested gamer. <laughs> I'm very sick. Uh, do not mind my voice. Uh, I'm hoping... I was telling the chat earlier. I'm hoping uh, I kind of warms up a little bit as we go but for right now i sound like i uh i sound like i have a plunger stuck in my throat so i hope you guys don't mind <laughs> so if i'm a little quiet this is uh this is why but anyway we have to talk to mizuki because we just fixed her brain in the last episode uh i for one welcome our new musical overlords yes thank you neo uh hey there cat welcome to the stream all right let's uh <laughs> how are you doing i think is the first thing we should ask i told you i'm fine Oh, well, all right then. Somebody's a little cranky. So annoying. <laughs> After what we just did for I you? annoyed you already, huh? The pressure is annoying. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. I mean, I mean, you, you're not, you're not wrong. 
but it's just, uh, it's not what I was expecting. <laughs> Maybe if I send enough bits, I can scare away your sickness. That would, be... <laughs> I don't want to sound like a cell, but that, that would be, that would be great. <laughs> So she's a little, she's a little, she's, so she's a smart child, um, and she's pretty, uh, persnickety with me. Gonna go watch the last stream of this so I can understand. So take some bits. Okay. Thank you, Dragoon. Her attitude is within normal parameters. I think I liked her better when she was silent. <laughs> oh, Date. All right. So are you hungry? I'm fine now, but I didn't forget your promise. A promise? Sushi? You said you'd take me. So you heard that, huh? <laughs> Aphonia only affects speech. Her hearing should still be intact. Sure, Mizuki. When we're all done here. Well, at least she seems interested in the sushi. Apparently she doesn't like it too much, but uh we'll take her for some we'll take her for some bites later. I'm playing this game right now. I'm sorry, Mintum. <laughs> so am I. Okay. So uh what about um about that figure I saw? Say Mizuki. Who was that figure I saw? What? Insomnia in your dream. Uh, I maybe we silhouette. can't scare away your sickness, but we can scare you. Oh, please don't actually scare me. Date, Mizuki would not understand the question. Oh, yeah, she probably wouldn't. It's her dream, right? She does not experience somnium as you do. Hmm. You are witnessing a dream inside her brain. Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? Did you check her profile like I did? No. No, I didn't. I did. I saw someone in the corner past the merry-go-round. Ooh, who? Ein with the resub. Ein, my friend. I believe I've given this streamer free money for 20 months now. Uh, Ein. <laughs> Never change, my friend. Thank you so much. Who did you see? I don't know. It was dark and raining. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door was open a little bit, so I snuck in. Hmm. And that's where we found her hiding. Alright, so who sent you the message? I... I can't tell you. What? Why not? Why? Because I don't want to. That's not a reason. <laughs> you really gonna get in the way here, Mizuki? You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. Exactly. I don't think she is going to answer. Why? Do we have to bribe you with food? When she is in a mood, it's impossible to get her to talk. That's the kind of girl she is. Oh, lovely. She's a difficult girl. <sighs> Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. How long do you think I've been observing her? It's been four years now. Correct. I know things that even you do not know. Like? That's terrifying. Actually, never mind. Some things I'm better off not knowing. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. Oh, of course. How, I'm though? I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means, but it's taking me some time. Vivite with the resub! Oh my god, today's, today's a stream of resubs. I'm really new to this game. What's the story so far? So the story so far, uh, this, this will be the last time I do a recap because I, I don't think I got through the full recap the first time. Story so far, there's been a murder in the merry-go-round. Uh, well, at the at this old abandoned uh, amusement park, we are a special, special detective, Date, with an AI that lives in our eye named Iba. And uh, we went to go investigate this. We found our roommate, this 12-year-old this, uh, this girl who we're looking after. Um, she was at the scene of the crime. She had aphasia, so she could not speak. We had to go to her brain to fix the problem. In, in between that time, we've met a whole bunch of people, kind of uh, seen some more mysteries related to this crime and case, but we are still in the process of solving it. She's lying in the chair. Maybe doing okay, but she's got that gloomy look in her eyes. Sympathize with her. Last night she saw her mother. Well, she saw what no kid should ever have to see. It'll take a while for her to get back to normal. Hmm. Boss, what about you? Thoughts? How would I know? We still don't have enough information. Continue your investigation, Special Agent. Hmm. 
what does the flowchart look right now? That's actually a very great, que great question. I meant to show this earlier. So the flowchart has changed quite a bit since the first time we saw it. We've actually gone down a branch. Now, I looked at this before. We have gone down a branch because of what we did in her Somnium. Uh, the choice we made, we've gone down this. This pathway. Which is very interesting. Right, oops, I didn't mean to hit that. Go back to the flowchart. How do I... Is it right? Yeah, it's right stick. Okay. So, yeah. So, we're in this path. Day 2 Saturday, make I. Um, we could have gone this way, though. By, I guess, choosing the other cage in the Somnium. So, yeah. This is, uh, this, this is interesting. I have no idea where this is going to lead the story, but it's going to lead it somewhere. Alright, so what I saw in the Somnium. Hey, Sarah. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. Yeah, thanks, Pewter. Anyway, we know about the figure you saw. Music is an awesome character, you will love her. Uh, and give all musical and fight the sickness of music power. I shall, thank you, soul. I also I see we've been we found the Alice of this game going by the mass of cleavage. I wonder who that <laughs> could be. But she's not Egyptian. All right, so about her muteness. It's just yeah, PTSD, I'm right? Glad she's talking again. Essentially. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Well, you meaning you and Iva. The boss has extraordinary perception. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. All you did was tackle into things, Iba. Don't even get me started. All you did was follow my instructions. That too. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. Hmm. Questions. Right, there was something. Hey, Mizuki. When we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Can you tell us why? When I got there, the ice pick was, it was, it was stuck in my mom's eye. Yeah, so just like we thought. I couldn't think straight. I, the only thing I could think was, I had to get it out. So you hmm. panicked and pulled it out. Yeah. And you held on to it when you hit in the column. Yeah. Oh, oh, you poor thing. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mizuki. Oh, jeez. Okay, just one more question. This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? That's a good question. I assumed it wasn't. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. So yeah, it wasn't. The eye socket was empty. Yeah. Because they said that she pulled it out of the socket, not the eye. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. So that confirms that, then. Yeah, Mizuki deserves many hugs. She deserves all the sushi. Yeah, shines in moments like this. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. Mm-hmm. When we got to the scene, it was definitely missing. The kids' VA does great work. I agree, Dragner. That that that's uh said some phenomenal voice acting right there. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. All right then. She's staring at her. <laughs> Lovely. All right, Pewter, what do you have to say? So how does I appear in Somnium? It's a fair question, I think. Iba is linked to your brain with an artificial nerve. No, oh, no, multiple timelines and ZDD all over again. It's it's a it's a it's an Uchi Koshi game. This is just what they do. To put it more simply, Iba is a part of, of your brain. <laughs> During sinking, your consciousness is sent into the subject's somnium. Part of Iba's self is also synced, but only a part. Not all of Iba's functions are transferred into somnium. So that's why somnium Iba is so dumb. <laughs> Don't call me dumb. Ouch. So her appearance now. Why hey, does she Peter, look like that? When we were in somnium earlier, Iba was in human form. She's never looked like that before. That was Iba's idea. What? I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your taste. Oh, lovely. Well, part of that was my taste. I know everything inside your mind. You don't have to hide it. 
Yikes. Computer, I was broken. She's talking crazy. <laughs> yeah. I am not broken. Perhaps Iba admires the human form. It's not that. It was just a little something. I consider Kaname Date to be my host. I owe him gratitude. I simply thought that appearance would make him happy. Why would that make me happy? Huh. O okay, then. So, about Somnium. Severally with the resub. Oh my god, thank In you so much. Dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. One second, Peter. Uh, looks like I reached a full year, so yesterday I saw some food coloring. The doctor said I'm okay, but I feel like I died a little inside. God damn it. But thank you so much for the resub, Sarah, and I really appreciate it. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. Hmm. The sinker is merely the audience. So then how do we manipulate it? It's about the figure I saw. What did Big Panther say when he oh, stepped on an ant? Dead ant, dead ant, dead ant, dead ant, dead ant. Yes. <laughs> I have heard that one before. I saw it too. Who or what do you think it was? Hmm. Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person projected into her subconscious. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki's Somnium couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. Mm-hmm. Of course, not everything the same has a crush on Date. exactly the same as it did in the real world. Well, uh, what was it? In, um, hold on. If we, if we go back to character files, persons, go to Iba, we see this string of, uh, of binary. People translated it in the live stream saying it actually spells out Date. So, Date's alike. So I would not be too surprised if she did that because she's got a crush on me. Silly little AI. You saw some strange things in Somnium earlier, didn't you, Date? That event you experienced is obviously not as it happened in reality. Dreams are a collage of many memories, intertwining and blending with each other. Your skills as a sinker allow exactly. you to the follow. those dreams and solve mysteries no one else can. Okay. So, who do you think the suspect is? Peter, who do you think the culprit is? The learn is the killer's probably male? Hmm, probably. Well, let's see. Perhaps it was you, Special Agent Dotty. What the hell? What? <laughs> I'm kidding. What? Go back to Do I was profile. She does what in Dotty sleep? Wait, what? Wait, wait. Hold on. What did it say? Oh, yeah. Her hobby sneaks out of his eye socket while he's sleeping and makes mischief. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is Iba. Then she. <laughs> How old are you, Iba? I'm five year old. God damn it! Oh God. AI ball, nice. <laughs> All right, so summarize for computer. Anyway, I get the story. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene. But she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? I totally can. There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. All right. Sounds like a plan. Does anybody have anything else to say? Not particularly. Different strings of characters. Let's see the sing machine. They don't have anything else to say here. Any banter. Hey, can I pop this cherry? I had to ask. Imagine Iba hopping out of Date's eye while he's asleep and giving him a kiss on the cheek while he isn't aware. She doesn't have a mouth, so. <laughs> Mizuki, no. You 
four innocent girl. She's 12. Don't make the dirty jokes in front of the 12 year old. Dante, you sounded quite proud of that pun. Oh my God. Perhaps you'd like to repeat it. <sighs> no, thanks. It's not the same as the first time. <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> A chair. There's some indigenous jewelry from New Guinea. I think this is called a koteka. Okay. Date, look. Oh. It's a brown tube. Brown tube. Brown tube. Is that a? Was that a? Was that a Steins Gate reference? Excuse me? Well, all right then. Sweet, steal the CRT monitor. Braun. Ferdinand Braun, inventor of the cathode ray tube. I can't get my head around that one. <laughs> Some people are obsessed with these. Yeah. Yes, they are. We know, we know quite a few people who are. I'm gonna hit Dante over the head with that. <laughs> What the fuck? Uh, Oda author name is also a Steins Gate reference. Ooh. What? Where did that come from? Jesus, little girl. I'm out of I'm out of Dr. Pepper. So am I. I need to get some Dr. Pepper myself, Pyro. <laughs> it just comes out of nowhere. I love it. Monitor is turned off. That is that is fine. Do we have anything else? I want to see if there's anything else to look at. Lockers. What's inside this? Sometimes a cleaning lady is hiding inside. That's disturbing. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, the door. All right, all right. Let's let's get the hell. Let's get the hell out of here before we do something stupid. Something even stupider. Uh, okay, damn Mizuki, you bad little girl. I'm looking forward to more, uh, to more singing with other people. I wonder if there are more crazy Somnium dreams. I would imagine so. And I'm very, very interested to see what they will be. Uh, you know that slender eyeless figure that's been standing behind you the last 15 minutes is quite creepy. What? <laughs> oh, God. All right, back to the crime scene. Oh, and of course we're taking the 12-year-old with us. I brought her with me. Saw a suspicious figure in Somnium, but I couldn't be sure of its exact location. I brought Mizuki along to help pin it down. Somewhere around here, right? Yep. Hmm. Interesting. So this is this is the only angle we get here. The Kabasaki District buildings in the distance. What does that say? Past the bush. Hmm. What's what's up with these horses? Sad overturn insect. A bench. Uh, maybe one day Pewter could use Iba's base to make a robotic body for Date to have an actual partner walking around with him. That would be kind of cool. That'd be that'd be crazy technology though. All right, so <laughs> are you cold? What do you care? Because I care about you. You never cared about me ever. Okay, maybe I don't. And I liked it that way. What? <laughs> I don't want you getting close to me. As I hear things fall upstairs. I guess people are home. You think I like you now because I hugged you after the sink? Did you think, aw, how sweet she likes me? Don't get it twisted. I only hugged you because you were standing right in front of me. Oh, okay, so anybody would have done. Could have been anything. Could have been a pole or a cactus. <laughs> in fact, I wish it were a cactus. <laughs> so stop worrying about me, okay? So she says. So she says. Oh my god, I love her. I love her. Mizuki is best girl. <laughs> well, sorry for me caring. She's she the the soon is strong with this one. All right, so do you remember anything? Yeah, I do. Okay. Okay, I've now adopted this child. I love her so much. What do you remember? Technology. Robots are bright in the house, which is more advanced. 
Uh, probably, honestly, brain analysis, if I had to say one or the other. That sounds way more advanced. Because we're already, we're already kind of, kind of currently on the precipice of, like, this kind of crazy robot AI technology already in real life. Um, the brain, though, it still remains a total mystery. So, hmm. I was four. Ooh, you were four, huh? I remember it so clearly. This is where I saw my mom and dad smile. And that's that picture we saw in your somnium. I had so many happy memories here. The only happy memories I really have are from here. Memories of my family are so bright and colorful. Oh. But now, this is where mom... Oh, no. Oh, this place has been ruined for you. What's wrong? Nothing. Just wondering where this goes. You mean the bush? Or maybe behind it? Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't even get to ask the other question. Iba, what's past here? This leads to the subway. The subway? It has, of course, closed down. It is no longer in service. D abandoned subway station, huh? Easy getting her parents are in the picture, then who took it? Silent Snake, what did you just ask? That's like something we never think about, is it? Oh this boy. Is the the Maybe they put it in a timer. Years ago. The surrounding district of Kawasaki was contaminated and declared off limits. Bloom Park closed for the same reason, as did all commerce and industry in Kawasaki. This means the railroads and public transportation to and from this area were shut down as well. That mean, makes sense. The subway. Iba, does the entire track run underground? No. The track leading northward from Bloom Park eventually rises to ground level. At a railroad crossing? Correct. Then the tracks must cross the surface street at some point. Uh, which voice actor? Iba's voice actress? Because, yeah, you would know who she is. Correct. We're, ro we're rolling around with a panther in our eyeball. Iba, do me a favor. <laughs> Can you see if any cars were driving on that surface street last night? Searching. Uh, with all the technology this world seems to have, maybe they just put the camera on a drone or something? Mm, I guess. Hey, you've been quiet for a long time. Are you okay? I'm just thinking. I've got something. I picked up a single vehicle traversing the street. <laughs> Illuminati. Yes, indeed. A black SUV. I ran the plate through the vehicle registration database to find the owner. Who was it? Shoko Nadami's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Uh-oh. Renju Okiura. Uh, uh-oh. Guys, this ain't looking too good. Hmm. So oh, Mizuki's. I actually don't know who Daddy Mizuki's voice actress is. On the tracks through the tunnel, stopped at the closed down station and carried mom's body to the park. I can't prove it was Renju. But why? There's a chance someone else was driving the car. Yeah. Yeah. But in any case, I know that the suspect must have used the subway tracks. That explains why there were no cars parked near the scene. Using that subway station, could take the body right to the merry-go-round without being caught on camera. Afternoon, Halo Sage. Daddy didn't do it. I am not so certain. <laughs> oh, none of this is looking too good for your dad, girl. Either way, I have to talk to Renju, and you can help me find him. Yeah, we can't. We can't exactly leave him alone now at this point. Steering wheel. Oop, come on, dashboard. The dashboard, console. Gear shift. Mizuki's legs. Glove box. Anything else to kind of poke around? Not particularly. All right, Mizuki. Sitting in the passenger seat. She's trying to act tough, but I can tell she's nervous. All right, so... 
about the Nile message. Was it your dad? Suzuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. Hmm. <laughs> Is he talking about Oda? He might be. Honestly, if he did do it, it would be too easy. I. It, it feels that way, right? I got some help from them. Bad personality. It was a message sent at 8:05 last night. Oh, are you talking about Iba? Does this sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Shit. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Oh. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... <sighs> so you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? Hmm. I but you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. That's <laughs> right, Date. Date, you so smart. <laughs> there are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. Hmm. So we'll keep but following this train. Why not? Daddy couldn't have sent the message. Why? Someone else must have used his phone. But, but why? How do you know that? And his car. Daddy wasn't driving the car either. Somebody else did it. The killer did it, not Daddy. Uh, the only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. Kind of does. Hey, Nyanko. It's going quite well. How are you? The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okiura. I hate to say it, Mizuki, but it does look like it's pointing in this direction, but it does feel just a little too, uh, a little too neat and tidy. 